to start the smart core training, which is what we call it, you first need to understand and the person needs to be able to master the basic core training. So what we're going to start with now is I'm going to take you through two different series of core training. We're going to do what's called the, the dead bug as well as the bridging. There are several, several series of core training. These are going to be the two basic series that we will show today. But know that you as an athletic trainer, as a physical therapist, as a coach, as an athlete and so forth, can take almost any series of the core training and you can develop that into a smart core. So today Jody is helping me with the core training and we're going to start with the basic dead bug. And first, Jody, I want you to find the neutral spine. So she arches and flattens her back until she comes to a, a position that is kind of in neutral in between maximum arch and maximum flattening. And to start with, she will move her arms up and down. Good. And she can do that and maintain the stability of the core here. Then do the same with your legs. Move one up, one down. Again, she makes sure that she has a stable core and then combine those two. The next step, do the same thing, but don't let your feet rest on the, on the table. Okay, still move your... So now you can see, Jody, there's no mobility here in the core. The core is very stable. The extremities are moving on the core. Good, and rest, come down. And then to do the bridging, Lift, again, find the neutral core, lift up, come down, come up. So what we look for here is always that the pelvis is even and there's not excessive arching or flattening of the back. To make this more difficult, I have Jody march. Again, pelvis is stable, neutral core, she shows great stability here. And then do the same thing, but now straighten out the legs. There you go. Again, stable core, 